Hello, this is David and I'm from Excel Consulting. In this video, I'm going to show you some speed up tricks with Power Query for Excel and Power BI. Now, if I go into Excel, I love using shortcuts and I love doing things like this, just like make it quickly into a table, uh, delete columns, uh, add rows, all that kind of stuff and just, you know, add a formula very, very quickly. You can't do a lot of those things in Power Query. It doesn't have very built in, um, very many built in shortcuts, but there are some hacks and there are some ways that you can replicate this process. So let's look at some of those cool things. Um, so if I open up Power Query, now this is the same in Power BI or in Excel. So I'm just gonna open it up this way. Here I have a table and I'm going to do some shortcuts that are built in. So let's start with the ones that actually exist. So shortcut type, I'll filter this for built in. I did use the mouse there, as you will notice, but we're gonna see what does exist. So remove columns is the delete key. If I press delete, that happens. Control Z doesn't work, so I need to undo that one there. Um, you can also just go through some of these and see what's happening. So if you want to filter something, you can press the Alt key and down arrow, and that will open the filter menu, same as Excel. Annoyingly, your down arrows don't work past the text filters point. I don't know why it just doesn't happen. You can click on sorting, or you can use uh, remove empty. I use those quite a lot using the keyboard and they will work. So there are some other ones as well. Um, here's one that I found randomly, but if you want to zoom in and out, you can press control plus with shift to zoom in, control shift plus to zoom out. That's actually quite useful because often you want to see more columns and Power Query just doesn't give you enough. Um, you also have some other ones like column from examples. Now column from examples is something that I didn't used to use very often. Um, and that is in the add columns tab over here, column from examples, control E will launch it up. So I can say column from examples and I can type in a sample and then it will guess what I wanna do. So I can write, for example, built in like that. Uh, well, let's do remove calls is built in. So I'm sort of combining these two, um, changing the casing for built in and adding the word is. You can press enter and then it guesses what I want to do. And as it says here, I can press control enter to apply. What I can also do is I can go to the top of the column and if I want to rename it, I can hit the F2 button. That's another built in command. You can rename a column. So here I can say that I want this to be called um, description and then it says press control enter to apply and it does it. It's created the code there as well. Um, if I want something specifically from this, I can press control shift E and it will open a column from examples from that column. So I can write here, um, for example, the month of May Enter. But then let's say that I only want the first three letters. So in the second one, I can correct it with FEB, enter, and then it knows that it's, well, it's calling it text between delimiters, but I can rename this to month three letters as we did before. Control enter applies it then. There we go. So those are some of the built in ones. And well, basically, Control E and Control Shift E can do pretty much all of these, all the from text, from number, from date, it can do them quite well. Um, less so these ones, although some custom columns that are difficult to do without column from examples, uh, you can do that one, like abbreviations as an example. So let's keep going and see what else we have. Um, in every, um, there is this way to select all columns, control A as well. But apart from the built-in, you also can navigate to this, that's the table menu, press enter, and then you can get this drop-down list here that's related to 
only things in the table. So some of my commands that you might notice are here. Add index column from zero, for example. Annoyingly, you have to keep pressing the arrow to navigate and then get it there. Remove top rows, remove errors, merge queries, all of those you can find there. So I can remove the first three rows like we have there. Uh, so those can be pretty good, and you can get to it completely without using the mouse. And a lot of the commands that are up here also exist down here. There's even one that doesn't, which is copy entire table. But you can do that and navigate to all of them without using the mouse. All right, let's get to uh, the next one then. So the next one is about right-clicking. Now, on some keyboards, you have a menu icon. Uh, normally, on the right side, next to the arrows between the control and the arrow key. Uh, some menu, some keyboards don't have it, particularly laptops. But um, even if you don't have it, you can manually swap, for example, the right control button to be the menu button, which is what I do, because it's really, really useful. <laughs> Not just in Power Query, but just anywhere. And then if you navigate to a column, you can press that menu button and you can choose what you want to do. So, for example, a lot of the things like change, uh, yeah, change type uh, could be useful. If I want to put this as a date or this as a number, I can press change type number like that. And I can also multi-select holding shift and do that. And I can merge columns. You can keep tabbing there to see what you want to do. So new call. There we go. And now it's merged them. You can keep going. Uh, there are some other really good ones here, like split column, group by, um, unpivoting, something I use very often, rename, but we can do that with a keyboard shortcut F2, move to left to right to beginning. All of those you can do with the right click. And uh, for my final trick, I'm going to show you uh, what to do for the ones that you don't have them, or if you want to go even faster. <laughs> so over here, you have something called the Quick Access Toolbar. And this exists in all of Microsoft Office products, and it can be customized. Um, in other Microsoft Office products, it's easier to customize it because you can sort of Go here and choose more commands and then add manually one by one, move them up and down. In Power Query, you've, the only thing you can do is you can right click on an item and choose add to quick access toolbar. And then right click on another one and remove. You can't change the positioning once it's there, but um, it can be really good because you can get to things very, very fast. So if I want to reference this query, I can click on that and it will reference it and start where the other one left off. But maybe I don't want to reference it. Maybe I do want to do other completely different things. So things that are sometimes many clicks deep uh, are easier to get to that way, like remove duplicates. So I can click here, remove duplicates can get to it that way. Now, if you want to access all of these with a the keyboard, if you hold down the Alt key, you get all of these numbers appearing and click on any one of those to get to what you want to do. So if I want to click on, say this one, fill down for me is Alt-4. Oh, it doesn't work for that to do. Here we go. Um, Alt-4 will completely fill down. So even though that isn't right-click menu, I use it so often <laughs> that I like to have it with a keyboard shortcut. Same with uh, add conditional column. Alt-7 is adding a conditional column. Uh, remove duplicates is Alt-8. The reason I choose the words is because I choose something that gives me a memory trick. So remove duplicates. Duplicates has the word 8 in. So in both Excel and in Power Query, Alt-8 for me is remove duplicates. Uh, replace values, really, really, really crucial. Alt-2 because it shows in the symbol one, two, like that. And I can say replace apples with pears. Okay, and it's done it there. Uh, also, a speed up trick for, um, for replace 
If you actually know what you want to replace, you can select the cell and then go to replace values. I'll do it with a shortcut and it comes built in with that already there. So uh, replace planet with fill. There we go. That's a little speed up trick there. Um, remove other columns. Now this one, this is about selection. So if you use the arrow keys, you can move around. If you use shift, you can choose what you want. You can select multiple. And if you use shift and then control right arrow key and then control space, you can actually select multiple columns that are disconnected. So I use that one quite a lot. And then once you've done that, Alt 3 will remove other columns. So yeah, you can also use control space to select the column or shift space doesn't work to select the row. But in Power Query, you probably wouldn't need to do that anyway. Uh, finally, detect data type. So I quite like this one as well. What you can do is you can select sort of various columns, again, using Control and Shift or all of them. And then Alt 9 is detect data type, and it will put those all into data as you want. You can manually change them with the uh, menu button, but I really like the de detect data type there. Final tip, if there is anything that you can do in one step, then it's best to do it in one step. So if, for example, I want to split this, we're going to use this with the mouse. I'm going to split it at the first space. And now it creates this and it calls them description one, description two. In your formula bar, it's better to edit it like this. So this is first part. And then, uh, then in the same step, I can enter uh, whatever title like that. So then it only creates one step in Power Query rather than two. Uh, another place where this is useful, and this is kind of weird that I found this accidentally, actually. <laughs> but um, if you do uh, a merge query, and here you have command, and let's merge it with this one, you can actually control click and select two columns. So it can first check the first column and then the second column to check the merge and then produce whichever merge you want. So I found that accidentally. It's really good for first and last names. And I didn't know that you could do it until I accidentally stumbled across it. All right. So um, going back to the summary, shortcut tools, the built-in shortcuts can be really good. F2 to rename, Control-E, Control-Shift-E, column by examples. Filter menu has some things that you can do, like sorting, remove duplicates. Uh, you do need to use the mouse button to click in certain instances in the filter menu. The table menu is on the top left, and that allows you to do table-wide actions. The menu button is the right-click button that I highly advise you use. You add and make sure you can get to that in one click. The quick access toolbar, you need to set that up on your own. Uh, by getting to the command you want, right-clicking and choose Add to Quick Access Toolbar, and then it shows up here. And I advise doing it in the order that you want to set up the shortcuts. So as I said, Close and Apply for me is one. Um, replace Values has a two. This one has three things, so I do all three. Fill down, fill four, starts with the same thing. Refresh, I do as Alt-5 because F5 is refresh in many instances. This kind of looks like a 6. This a little bit looks like a 7 in the end there. Remove duplicates with 8. And Alt-9 is detect data type because that, again, could look like a 9, the question mark. Uh, and then column from examples to do any of the add column things you can do with column from examples. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching.